Hey guys, Ava here with Skip Tactical Solutions, coming to you with a quick live talking about SHOT Show 2020. So as you guys come on, please let me know where you're joining from. Thank you to the awesome D for joining in tonight. Can you hear me, D? Hopefully you guys can hear me. But I will be talking about some of the things that I saw at SHOT Show. I'll be showing you guys some of the things that I grabbed for you at SHOT Show. And I'll be talking about some of the videos that I have coming up in regards to SHOT Show. So as you guys come on, please let me know where you're joining from. I am currently in the hotel lobby doing this live stream. So you have to excuse if there is some guests that come in, but we are here. I know I haven't been live in a few, but I'm excited to interact with you guys. John, thank you so much for joining. John is joining from San Bernardino. Thank you for that. And Dee is joining from Texas. First, I have to tell you guys, it's actually kind of chilly here in Vegas. Uh, I don't remember the exact temperature, but it was chilly. But to be honest, I was in the convention center majority of the day, so I didn't really get to be outside much. So it's saying that it is 60. No, that's not here. That's back home. I was going to check the town, but it's a little bit chilly. So I'm excited to get back home. Grandma Coates, hey, thank you for joining. So I had a plan for SHOT Show 2020, and that was I was going to drop a video every day. And I have to tell you, as much as I tried to do that, I could not do it. I couldn't even really post much because throughout the day, it was a lot of interacting with people and walking around, taking photos, doing videos. And then by the time that it was over, it was grab some grub and get ready for the night and then kind of prepare for the next day, too. So. There wasn't a lot of time. I And then I also didn't want to drop the videos too late at night when majority of the people that follow me were asleep. So I just tried to wait until the daytime and then it was super busy then. So I didn't really get a lot of time to do that. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I got. I got a lot of swag to give out to you guys. And if you guys have any questions about SHOT Show, I want you to ask me. But, excuse me, I do have quite a few videos that will be coming out soon. So I, I'll talk to you about all the videos that I have coming out too. Um, hey, Karen, how are you? Uh, Norman, hey, how are you? Thank you guys for tuning in. I will be leaving Vegas tomorrow. And I had a very good trip. I appreciate everyone that I met there who stopped and said hi, got photos with me. And for the people who did get photos with me, please make sure that you tag me in it so that I can repost them. But my stories will probably have more stuff than my actual posts just because it's a lot easier to post something on a story than to actually make a legit post about everything. So. It was really, really fun meeting everyone, uh, following up with everyone, and just talking to a lot of the companies that I had already been interacting with. Hey, RP, how are you? All right, so hit me with some of your questions that you have, and then I will be dropping a video tonight. Tonight, I think I'm going to be dropping the Palmetto State Armory video, and I have to tell you, Palmetto State Armory dropped a lot of things at SHOT Show, and I don't think anyone was really ready for the things that they were dropping, but I'll give you a quick teaser. They are dropping a pistol. Yes, you heard that right. Palmetto State Armory is dropping a pistol. Um, they also are releasing, well, they gave out some info on their MP5 but it's not an MP5, it's the PSA5, okay? It's the PSA5, not MP5. And, sorry, let me move my chair. And then, 
they have some different variants on their AKs and I have a video with that as well. But super excited, PSA, a lot of new stuff. And when it comes to the Palmetto State Armory video that I'll be dropping, I have, I guess I'll say, I guess a gift for everyone that shares it in comments. So that one will be very, very fun. And I'm hoping that I can drop that. So as soon as we got the live tonight, I'm hoping that we'll be able to drop. So make sure that you check that out within the next 24 hours. Um, let me check out the comments really quick. Norman said, any air pistols catch your eye? I'm deciding now, pistol or rifle caliber. I don't know if you saw, so Norman, I dropped a video maybe two days ago on air precision and they announced their PCC, so there's their pistol um, carbine and really excited about that because the price on that is looking very, very good. So if you didn't see that video, make sure that you go check out that video because that is going to be a really solid product and, excuse me, there are... A lot of companies that are coming out with their AR style pistols, and I have to say, I do like the pistol caliber carbines and arrows should definitely be something that you check out. So make sure you check out the video if you haven't, and then if you do check it out, let me know what you think. What makes the grass grow greener? So I do have a husband, I do. And John said, did you carry while you were in Vegas? I did not carry while I was in Vegas. A lot of the times I was pretty much waking up, going to the show, leaving the show, and coming back to my hotel, and there wasn't really anywhere else that I was going. And I didn't have time to go anywhere else, really. Karen said, did you get to me, drop it like it's Scott? No, I did not. And by the time I saw your message, Karen, so thank you so much for messaging me, but by the time that I saw it, it was already late. All right, so do you guys wanna see some of the stuff that I got for you? If you wanna see some of the stuff that I got for you, just comment below that you do. And you can also share this video I do miss you guys. It's been quite a while since we've chatted, so this won't be long, but I just wanted to come on and chat with you guys. And this was my second year going to SHOT Show. Big Hope dog said, did you serve in the military? Yes, I currently still serve. All right, so you guys want to see some of the things that I got you. So first, let me see. I got a lot of stuff for you guys. You're going to be excited. So for all my Patreon supporters, they are getting a special... And I know um, Dee is on here. She is one of my Patreon supporters. But all my Patreon supporters are getting a special, special swag pack. And they will have patches and stickers in there. All right, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is... For the Palmetto State Armory video that I will be releasing, everyone that comments and shares will be so actually I won't say everyone because then if it gets to be too many then I won't be able to do it but I will say 25 the first 25 that comments and shares the video will win a Palmetto State Armory Shot Show 2020 patch. So I'm gonna show you this patch 
And then you will also get a sticker as well. All right, so this is the sticker. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. It says PSA Shot Show 2020. So that's the sticker. And then I will also be sending you guys a patch as well. PSA Shot Show 2020. And look what's on there. This is pretty neat. And it still has on the back. So I'll be dropping the Palmetto State Armory video tonight and you will be, if you sorry, if you comment, you first 25 will win a SHOT Show 2020 patch and sticker. All right. And I think these are cool. Yeah, they said those are awesome. Yeah, I really think these are cool. So this is for the Palmetto State Armory video. And I have a lot of neat things for the videos that I'm going to drop. Um, but I'm going to show you guys some of the other stickers that I got for you guys. And patches. There are a ton of patches. And it seemed like a lot of the companies were like, let's see who can get the coolest patches and stickers. You guys know that I love to give you guys patches and stickers. And I didn't discriminate, just so you guys know. All right, so here's some arrow precision. And I released the arrow video a couple days ago talking about their new PCC. Excuse me. And I also released, sorry, also included in that video, we were talking about their new rifles that came out. Um, which were the Thunder Ranch edition. Another arrow sticker. And I got some arrow patches too. Uh, Young Dragons, yes, I did check out that company. I have so many, like I can't even, I'm trying to figure out which ones I want to show you guys first. All right, so this is Primary Arms, Primary Arms Optics, and Velcro on the back, some neat patches. And this is Blue Force Gear, how cool is this one? Blue Force Gear went with a alien, what is it? Like an alien theme this year. So here's one of their patches. And I have one of Clover Tech's new patches. So I definitely have to get me some patches. I will be working on that this year, but hey, Chris, how are you? And I have, I'll have to show you guys this. So I talk about how much I love Canic, right? And here is a Canic patch. Look how big this is. So this is my hand. Look how big this patch is. <laughs> this is big. So this is, let's see. I don't know if you guys can read that. Superior handguns and pew pew canic. That is a huge patch.
Um, I will also, I wanna show you guys a few patches first and then I'll go to, Some stickers. Hey, Yarn, can you do me a favor? Can you write down everyone who shares for me, please? Here is a, another patch. Primary arms. And this one is a nice size one, too. And if you guys have any questions while you're on here, feel free to ask your questions. And some of these patches, I just don't remember where I got them from. Oh, I'm pretty sure this one is an Arrow Precision patch. So I really like that one. That one's neat. And you guys have seen this patch on the channel a lot, but I'm going to show you anyways. CMC triggers. So, John said, did you get any Glock patches? I did not get any Glock patches. I actually got a coin from Glock, but I did not get any patches. Here's another patch from Arrow. Arrow had some pretty good patches. And this one is a nice size too. So as you guys come on, make sure that you share the video, you share the video and you can be um, pretty much, you can win a match. Here is a proper match. And let me see, I have a couple of patches here. I have a Santan tactical patch. That one looks nice in the light. All right, so John said, what's your favorite patch that you got for you? Um, what is my favorite patch? I think, let me grab it. I think this is my favorite patch. <laughs> Isn't that neat? And I think that I got this one from gun website. So this is a very nice size patch. It's... So that was probably my fave. Um, I got this patch from LA Police Gear. That's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure that I got this one from Gun Websites too. And he's on here often. I always call him G Web. 
I don't know if I showed you guys this one, but this is a Century Arms patch. And I do have a video coming coming out with Century Arms. And then we also did a video on Canic too. So look at that. Cute little patch. Um, all metal state armory patch. And this is just their normal patch, not their um, not their shot show edition. And this kind of mimics their regular PSA stickers that they send out with their orders. So quite a few. Um, here is another Blue Force gear patch. They had, I think, four different patches this year. And then, I think two days ago, maybe two days ago, I'm not really sure what day it was, but it was National Polka Dot Day. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cheryl Todd, but she always wears polka dots. And her patch says, polka dots are my camo. And this is her patch. So I got this patch at SHOT Show as well. And... Oh, so I do have one Glock patch. I didn't spend a lot of time over there because I feel like I'm always <laughs> showing you guys something Glock. But here is a Glock patch. And here is a... Some of them, I really can't remember where I got them from, which I know is probably not good, but I can. So the waiter just walked by and he was looking at me like I was crazy because I have a table full of stuff. And that's stuff, I mean patches. All right guys, so those are majority of the patches that I got. And I do have some other ones up in my room, but I just wanted to grab, um, a handful of them so that you guys could see the patches and then I see someone says <laughs> let's see Chris said the new Canic Elite sub compacts look cool so yes oh and then let me show you guys this patch this is air precision patch So to my Patreon supporters, like I said before, they will be getting a big bag of, sorry, not a big bag. They will be getting a nice swag pack with some items from SHOT Show. And <clears throat> with some of the videos that are going to be coming out, there will be special things that I will be doing for the videos. And people will have the chance to enter to win some patches and then some stickers as well. So let's see. Okay, so Chris, the new Canic Elite Self Compacts, right? Really, really excited about those. I purchased one a few months back, a couple months back when they came out and got to SHOT Show and I didn't know that they had one that was optic ready. I did not know that. So it already had the slide cutouts. So I wish I would have known that when I got mine. I did not know that. But I don't know if you like them. But if you like them, just know that there's an option out there now for that. And I do have a video coming out with them. So you will be able to find out more about that. Excuse me. John said, can I purchase one of each? <laughs> Mike said, I live... A half hour from Palmetto State Armory. Oh, nice. Do you ever go there? Yeah. 
Mike said, what's up, Play 26 on Black Roulette? I'll be honest, I did not gamble while I was here at all. And last year when I was here, I didn't gamble either. Karen said, I still have a large bag full of stuff from SHOT Show last year. <laughs> you got to give it away. Uh, Karen said, what's up? When is your next training session near Tallahassee? So I don't have a session near Tallahassee, but uh, my classes are generally out of the Tampa area. And if you have a group that would be interested in getting me up to the Tallahassee area, then let me know because we can work that out. Chris, do you own any canics as it is? And the Aero PCC does look really cool. I'm gonna try to get my hands on one so that I can do a review on it. But out of all of the patches that I showed, which one was your guys' favorite patch? Did you meet any other gun YouTubers? All right, Mike, let's see. I did meet some other gun YouTubers. Um, I met Talon. It's, I think it's like Talon SCI. I met him. We got a photo together. I also met... I'm trying to think gun YouTubers. I met USA Carry. John said nothing wrong with talking about Glock all the time. Not everyone likes Glocks. Grinder said I like that AK-47 necklace you're wearing. Thank you. I wore pretty much every day I was here. Yarn Dragon said, I like the polka dot one, even though the Glock always irks the husband off. <laughs> oh, so in regards to, I want to correct something that I said earlier. In regards to the Canic, the one that they have that I did not know about was there's actually one that comes with the optic already. And I can't remember what optic it was but they have one that is coming with optic. Um, hey, Second Amendment, how are you? Uh, John Guy said, did you see Black Rumbo? Yes, I did see Black Rumbo, although I don't think that we got a picture together. Most people that I saw were able to get a picture together, but I think Black Rumbo, I don't think we were able to get a picture together, but I did see him probably like four or five times. Even though Shot Show is ginormous, I think there's over... I think there's about 30,000 exhibitors. You run into a lot of people, but there were still some people that I didn't get to see at all. Mike said, I like the fact that you really interact with your supporters. That means a lot. Thank you. I don't really get to, get to interact with you guys as much as I would like to. And just know I got a ton of content this week as much as I could. I was really focused on not just getting content, but getting quality content and talking to the manufacturers and asking them the questions that you guys are asking me. And I'm able to talk to the engineers sometimes. So that's really, really nice. And for Palmetto State Armory, the videos that I did with them each. So I did a video on the different things that were coming out but I talked to the engineers that actually put these products together. So I thought that was really important for you to see the individuals that are coming up with these concepts, but also the ones that are like going from start to finish with it. So I hope you guys really, really like that because I, I thought it was really important for you to see that aspect of it as well. 
um, not just someone who works at the company that talks about it in a broad spectrum, but the individuals who really know everything behind it. Second Amendment said, I'm looking to get the new Sky DB1 with that red dot. Okay, I'm glad that you said that because I didn't mention them at all. So I did do a video with Sky and that one will be coming out as well. And I was able to get my hands on it and I will post some pictures and video the video as well. But the trigger, I think they said it was about five and a half pounds. I think a lot of people are going to be excited about it, but they said they were going to send me one, so I will be able to do a review on it, and I'll be able to do a review on it and give you guys my my feedback on it when it comes out, but I think it's not coming out until, I think they said maybe March time frame, I will be able to get my hands on it, so as soon as I do, you guys will be the first to know, and I will let you guys know my true, legit opinion on it. Because you guys know I am 100% honest with you. Second Amendment, what did you think about the red dot that comes with the CPX is now? And the price point on those are very, very good as well. Karen, thank you so much. You guys are going to make me blush. John, guys, that I heard next year's SHOT Show is going to be at Caesars Palace and even bigger. I did hear that there was a possibility that they would be moving it somewhere else next year and that it would be bigger. I tell you, like, trying to film videos, there was no way that I could make it to every single vendor, uh, sorry, exhibitor that's out there. And I couldn't even imagine if it was bigger, like, having to go somewhere else. Like, yeah. Chris said PSA killed it this year. They absolutely killed it this year. They did a lot. They came out with some things that I didn't even know that were in the works, but I'm really excited about what they have coming out. And it's nice to know that things are going to be affordable. Mike, great question. Great question. So Mike asked about, did you go to any knife booths and do you carry one? I did a interview with SOG and they talked about some of the things that they have coming out. And they had one knife that I really want to try out because I think it will appeal to the average person that does not want to carry a knife that may be too bulky or they don't want to spend too much on a knife. So I did do an interview with them, but I wanted to do another interview with another knife company, but I did not get to. There were a few companies that I did interviews with at the industry. Okay, so I'll actually just give you guys a quick overview. So the very, I, I arrived in Vegas in the very first day before the actual SHOT Show started was, excuse me, it was the industry day. In the industry day, you're able to go out and shoot a lot of the products and I did a video on it and the video didn't show all the companies that I interacted with, but it showed a few of the companies and I didn't get to interview Walter at the actual show, but the industry range day, I was able to interview them. And yeah, I did an interview with them at the range day and I was able to shoot some of their products, which is nice. And a lot of people want to know more things about Walter, but a lot of people don't talk about them. So that was nice. I did attempt to go to their booth and do an interview, but they were really busy when I went over a couple times, so I wasn't able to get an actual interview. But I want you guys to know that I try my best to show 
all of the companies love. And someone asked me that today. They asked me, um, do I do I only interview certain companies? Do I only go around to the companies that I like? And I, I have to tell you, I don't do that. I go around and I want to hear from all of the companies. I did an interview with Taurus. I did an interview with Sky. I did an interview with PSA. I did... Hello, Hello, son. <laughs> There's quite a few that I did, but I definitely did discriminate. Mossberg, you guys probably saw that video. I put that video, I put them into the industry range day video, but I don't only include the companies that I absolutely love because I have to tell you that a lot of these companies have their pros and their cons, and I'm not biased towards one company. Midnight Range says, Skip, did you run into many of the Japanese from gun channels? I ran into a few of them I did. I had a talk with um, one this morning, but yeah. And it's always so nice to catch up with them. And there's not many people in the gun community that I've ran across that are just... So I... I'll just say real. <laughs> There's not many that I've run across that are like that, but um, I also was able to see the founders of Ammo Land. I went to an Ammo Land breakfast. And <clears throat> so yeah, range day, sorry, I completely got off track. Range, the industry range day was nice. It was cold, but it was nice. I was able to go over and check out Geisley. I did an interview with them too. We did an interview with Hollow Sun. Springfield Armory. I don't know if you guys checked out that, but they have some really good products coming out. And I have an interview that I did with them. Their video will be coming out as well. I did not get to interview any like suppressor companies. Let's see what else. There's like a couple things that I really want to school and tell you guys about Sky, I mean not Sky, about Palmetto State Armory. I said Sky because I just looked at a Sky sticker. Um, so I'll show you guys a couple, some of the stickers. Hey Marv, how are you? So here's some stickers from Sky and it says Sky Official Farm of the Zombie Apocalypse. And this is just a sticker. And this is a nice size sticker too. And so, I mean, this is my hand. This is the size of the sticker. And since we're showing Sky, I'll show you. This is another one of their stickers that they put out at the show. If you can see it, it says sky over here on the side, which you probably can't see it. And then they put out these stickers too. All right, so yeah, the first day before the, my first day, but it wasn't like the official first day, went to range day, um, they bus you out to the range and it was nice. There were quite a few companies out there. It was very chilly. I had on a hoodie, and but I heard that it wasn't as cold it, as it was the year before. So this was my first industry range day, and it's just nice to get out there and be able to shoot some of these guns. Um, after that, the official first day of SHOT Show was full of shooting videos. Guys, when I tell you, it was like going from booth to booth to booth to shoot videos. And the first day, I don't even think that we sat down to eat lunch. It was just going from here to there to there to there to get these videos done. So, oh, thank you. So that was really nice to be able to knock out quite a few videos day one. And then I had a breakfast with Emma Lynn. And that was really nice because I was able to meet some people who've been in the gun community for a while. 
And then I'm like a complete newbie <laughs> to the community, but I was able to meet some people that have been doing some really amazing things. And uh, I think there may be some nice opportunities coming up with that too. And I had a women of the industry event, like a social, and that was nice to be able to meet some of the women that have done some really amazing things. Some women that I was able to meet were, let's see. I had already met Julie Gallup, and I have to say I'm a complete fangirl when it comes to Julie G. She's phenomenal. And I was also able to meet a, the founders of A Girl and a Gun, the founders of Shoot Like a Girl, and then the Well-Armed Women. So these are women that are doing some really fantastic things. And Susan LaPierre, I met her, and Project Child Save, they gave away some things as well. So those pretty much majority of the women that were in the industry were there. And then some of the women that actually were at some of the companies, like the manufacturers, they were there too. So it's nice to put faces with names and then be able to attach them to some of the companies. And what else? I took some pictures with my Women's Outdoor News team. If you guys don't know, I am a part of the Women's Outdoor News and for them, I create content for Glock. So I have their Glock contract and they're all very, very nice. Those women are just phenomenal and I really admire all of them. So they're very welcoming and we were able to get some pictures together and I was able to really sit down and talk to them so that, yeah, just to be able to pick their brain and be a part of the team is very humbling. Um, and then let's talk about last night. Last night, I went to the Glock party. And Glock party is semi-formal, very nice. And I have to say that I had a lot of fun. They have a photo booth and it's just fun. They give away they give away at least 10 guns. And they even gave a uh, giveaway a trip. Yeah, they gave away a trip this year. It was nice. But I went there and then the last day of shot was just really me wrapping up some things and following up with some companies that I did not get to see earlier in the week. I did not get to do a video with Breakthrough Clean Technologies, but I have to tell you that I'm really sad that I didn't get to, but I really, really appreciate them. They are a phenomenal company, and I showed you guys the Christmas gift that they sent me, and it's always nice to just go down and talk to them, but they have some really good products that are coming out, and I took photos of them. I wasn't able to get video, but I will be finding a way to have them share what they have coming out. A lot of times I like for the companies to share what they have coming out because you guys see me all the time, like all the time. I'm sure you guys get tired of seeing me and I want you guys to see the people who are connected to these companies because some of them are like, we're able to actually talk to the owners of the companies and you guys get to see the faces behind the brand. And then I think it's better that you're able to connect with them as well. And not just see me all the time talking about their company. But I'm going to show you guys some more stickers. So I don't know if I showed you this one. Primary arm sticker. And if you guys didn't know, make sure that you share this video for the chance to win a sticker. Or a patch, sorry. And I got this sticker. It is a limited sticker, but Hackett Equipment, sorry, Hackett, they gave me this patch, and it was like one of their last few patches. All right, let's see. 
And if you guys have any questions, make sure that you ask your questions. The gun toting past is said, hey, favorite gun at shot. Hmm. Okay, so favorite gun is shot. Okay, since you guys are my family, I'm gonna tell you guys this. Everyone kept asking what what my favorite thing, like what was the most awesomest thing that I saw at SHOT Show. And I have to tell you, I don't feel like there was anything that was just like mind boggling, like, oh my God, this is so innovative. I can't believe that they came out with it. That's just my personal opinion, but I don't feel like there was anything out there like that. But I do think that the PSA, not sorry, yeah, the Palmetto State Armory's um, Jackal that's coming out, I think that's neat. I think their PSA 5, which is like their MP5 that's coming out, is going to be good as well. I did an interview with Ruger talking about their new 5.7. And I know a lot of people on the channel had questions about that. And I want to bring it directly from Ruger. So yeah, they're already out. They said that the demand is extremely high for those. And let's see what else was it. But was there anything that you guys saw that someone put out about something that was released at SHOT Show that was mind-blowing or you were super excited about? Sorry, it doesn't have to be mind-blowing. Just something that you're really excited about. Uh, New York Outcast said, I just hope the new Sky Gun hold up. If not, they just need to stop before someone gets killed when their EDC doesn't work. Yeah, I I think a lot of these companies do the testing before the products come out. Uh, so something that I do want to share with you guys that I do hear from a lot of manufacturers is, and I also hear people ask this question a lot. A lot of people do aftermarket things to these guns. And these guys are not truly made for you to just switch out all these parts and put in aftermarket parts. And the average person is asking a lot about aftermarket parts. Or I heard a guy today when I was talking to Ruger, he was talking about taking the safety off. And there's just so many people that do things that they shouldn't do to their guns. And I know that's how a lot of accidents do happen because sometimes they're really not trained to do these things that they're doing to their guns. John said, do you have a place at home where you put your patches at? So no, I don't. And I've been saying it for a while. I want to get like a little patch wall because I've been able to acquire quite a few patches now. And I do want to display them. So no, I don't, I need to get one. Uh, J.H. said, did you see the state carry P210? No, I did not see that. I actually did it stop over at the SIG. Oh, I think I did. Hmm. I think I did stop over, but they were like really busy when I stopped over. Like no one was available for an interview when I stopped. Chris said, is there going to be a Ruger 5.7 carbine? Good question. I will definitely ask that. Chris also said the PSA handgun was kind of cool. The PSA handgun was cool. I didn't want to spoil it and say anything about it. Um, the price that it's coming in at is a really good price. And then just what it is, it, it's really nice. And they have the... I don't want to say lower end, but like the more affordable version. And then they have the um, more elite, I guess, version. But yeah, they're definitely excited about that. And they're included in that video as well for PSA. I'm near outcast said, not trying to hate on them, but even my gun shop talked me out of one years ago. Now that's bad. Um, 
yeah, that definitely seems like, sorry, that definitely seems like that is bad. But what I will tell you also is I know a lot of these companies have been stepping their game up when it comes to their QA and their quality assurance, sorry. And so many people talk to me about how PSA is trash or read comments and they talk about how PS, Palmetto State Armory is trash, but sometimes people are basing an opinion off of something that was like maybe five years ago, but just think about how much can change in the matter of a year. And I definitely see a lot of these companies that are stepping their game up. Like they're talking about, I know Sky was talking about their trigger, like really doing some work to their triggers and Palmetto State Armory, I'm telling you, I was there and I saw their quality assurance and their QC department is pretty, pretty lit. Um, Mike said he wanted to shout out everyone that attended the 2A rally in Virginia. Uh, great for everyone that attended and yeah, huge shout out to them. And we definitely have to make sure that we are continuing to fight for our rights. JH said, SIG is a trendsetter of the gun world. Okay. Yeah, when I went over to check them out, like they were super busy. And I don't think I was able to go back over and check them out. And some of these companies, the people that are working at their booth, they don't want to do interviews. And it's better for them to talk about their product than for me to attempt to talk about their product. And if they don't want to do an interview, I just think that it would be not so good to make them do an interview. So I really don't push the matter on that. I had quite a few that um, kept pawning me over to someone else and someone else. And then it was just like, okay, never mind. But was there anything else that you guys saw that you were really excited about? I'm excited. I don't know if you guys saw Hollow Sun, but I'm really excited about what Hollow Sun's putting out. And here's a another patch. So out of all the patches and stickers that you guys saw tonight, which one was your favorite? And then here is a, I like this sticker. It's a primary arm sticker. Guys just hit me with some really good questions. So Chris said, are you going to the NRA show in April? As it stands right now, I probably will not be going to NRA in April just because these trips are really expensive. So I pay for these trips out of my own pocket. So you have to think I have to pay for my travel to get there. Then I have to pay for a hotel while I'm there. Then there's the mills while I'm there. And then there are, I guess, travel while you're there. Like you need Uber, um, rental car, whatever that may be. So they tend to get really expensive. And then if I'm bringing someone with me, then I have to pay for all of that for them as well. And when I'm trying to film video, I definitely need someone with me because it just makes everything a lot easier. But as of right now, I don't think that I'll be going to the NRA show unless something changes. And another thing is when it comes to these shows, I have to take time off from my regular job. And that's just taking a lot of like personal days and really not having much downtime. Uh, 
Gun tilt and pacifist at the finish on the barrel slide on the PSA 9 dagger looks great. All the things that they had at SHOT Show, I was very, very amazed by it. I, I really liked what they did this year, and I think a lot of people are going to be excited with their pistol. I think a lot of people are going to be excited with the Jackal, and then once that M I keep almost saying MP5, the PSA 5 comes out, which is the MP5, they're going to be flying off the shelves. Um, John Guy said, what's your favorite farm that you own? I know, hard decision. My favorite farm. I have to say my favorite is Mechanic. I really like Mechanic. Well, actually, right now I think I have three Canics, and those are my favorite to shoot. Definitely my favorite. Probably not what you guys expected to hear was that Canic was my favorite, but I have to say Canic is definitely my favorite right now. What's some of your guys' favorites? Let's see. Uh, Chris said I like the alien pistol, but the price tag of five thousand made a pipe dream for me. Yeah, I I could not ever see myself spending that much money on a firearm, to be honest. I knew, okay, I said I have no experience with PSA, but have been told by many they're great for the price. They are really good for the price. And then when you start looking at the specs on them and sorry some of the stuff is better than mill spec as john dragons put in there thank you so much for putting it in there if you are interested in becoming a patreon supporter you can go to the patreon link she posted it here in the chat so thank you so much but it's also in the description of this video and what that does is my patreon supporters support me in doing all the things that you guys like for me to do. So it makes it so that I don't have to come out of my own pocket and fund a lot of these things. And it just makes for me to be able to do more stuff for you to be able to enjoy. So I do appreciate all of my Patreon supporters. And I know I have a couple of Patreon supporters that are on here right now. Uh, John said, what's your CCW insurance, if any? I am with USCCA, and if you go back maybe like five videos ago, I did a video on USCCA, and I also did another video comparing different um, concealed, not concealed, um, self-defense insurance, CCW insurance, whatever you want to call it, but I did a video comparing them, and then I did a video talking about the company that I went with and why I went with that company because I think it's really important for you all to know the different options that are out there because what may be really good for me may not necessarily be good for you. So just really having you think about all of the different things that are included in some of the companies. All right. JH says that he owns a canning, but Walter is his favorite. And I guess New York Outcast is a UCCA member as well. He said UCC, USCCA is the only way to go. And I am an affiliate with USCCA. So if you guys would like to sign up for their insurance, I would love it if you would use my link and sign up. And for me, I have, excuse me, USCCA, but I added my spouse to the policy as well. And the nice thing about that, to add my spouse was only an additional $9. So you cannot beat that, guys. <laughs> Mike said my favorite sticker was the one with the two guns and he looked like a little footlum holding them. <laughs> Send it to me, please. I don't know which one you're talking about. Are you talking about this one, Mike? Chris said he's going to try to go to NRA this year. 
Yeah, it's definitely, I enjoy NRA more than I do SHOT um, because everybody can go to NRA, but for SHOT, only certain certain companies, individuals can go. And it's just, yeah, it's like more business versus NRA, you get to have a lot more fun. Thank you, Rurad. Oh, I did a video with at Smith and Wesson with Julie Gallup talking about their new. It's not like new, but the <sighs> Smith and Wesson Nine Easy, and it's really easy to manipulate that slide. Chris said, "I have a PSA three hundred eight upper." Jay Stone said, thoughts on the Ruger 5.7. I know, so my thoughts on it, I know a lot of people were very excited for it. Would it be something that I would use? Probably not so much, but on the flip side of that, I, I'm gonna try to get my hands on one to do a review on it. And as we know, there's not a lot of 5.7s out there. So I definitely want to get my hands on it. Oh, I actually, this is gonna be funny. It's just a picture with the 5.7 today. I'm gonna show you guys this picture that I took. I look very like, I guess almost like gun bunny-ish. See if you guys can see that. And then I took one holding it. Pretty neat gun though. Um, USMC Georgia boy said, I'm thinking about becoming a USCC instructor. If you're thinking about it, um, definitely reach out to them and do your research. And if it's something that you want to do, make sure that you do it. Oh yeah, Chris, you're super close. Yeah, I know a lot of uh, JS, a lot of people are talking about the 5.7 and I definitely want to shoot it, get my hands on it. And the price that it's coming in at is definitely better than the price of the 5.7 that's out there now. And I don't remember what the price is on it, but I think it's almost like half of the price Oh, thank you, Karen. That's so sweet. Marv said his favorite said HKVP9. I didn't get to make it over to their booth either. But make sure that you guys stay tuned to the YouTube channel. And if you don't, if you don't have the notifications on, make sure that you put the notifications on for the videos because I will be dropping a video every single week. And I don't want to drop all the videos right now because <laughs> I just, yeah, it would be, sorry, overload if I drop them all right now. So I'm gonna be dropping quite a few, but then there's still gonna be some that are gonna be coming down. Let's see. Mike said, off oh, gun topic, you need to go and try Gordon Ramsay's Burger Place. Hmm, I wonder what the name of it is. I tried a burger place 
the other day. I think it was called Burger Habit. I'm not I'm not really big on burgers, but their burgers were pretty good. And then tonight I went to In and Out Burger. <laughs> Today was a it wasn't really that long, but yeah, it was a longer day. And right after I left the show, I went to In and Out Burger. Captain Hood, thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, guys, so um, if you have any other questions about SHOT Show, please drop them in the comments and let me know. I just wanted to come live and talk to you guys. I had a very good time. I, what else did I do? I also stayed up on my vitamin C and I got some sleep because last year, you know, there's just a lot of people that are in the small enclosed area. And last year I got really sick. Although, I, you know, I washed my hands, hand sanitizer, all that. Everyone is shaking your hands. Everyone's hugging you. You're taking a picture with people and then you're touching these guns that everyone else is touching too, right? Or you're touching these products that everyone else is touching too. Um, so I stayed up on my vitamin C. I got sleep and I don't feel like death right now. But let me knock on some wood because, yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't get deathly sick because I have to go directly back to work. Um, I have to look up the name of Gordon Ramsay's Burger Place because I would have definitely tried it. But I was, once it was like time to leave the show, I was really like focused on getting back to the room. And there were a couple nights where I went to something and it ended at like seven or so. And then I just went back to the room. Um, yes, MC. Georgia boy said, did you get some of Black Rambo's ammo? No. So I did not get any of his ammo, but he did show me his ammo on the show floor. And he said that he was going to send me some. Um, Captain Huck said, have you shot the 6-hour P328 M17? I have not. In and out was good. But I have to say, like, I'm just longing for a really good salad. Like, really good salad. That's all I want right now. Um, I did not get any Allen Anchor patches. The Kimber 10 mil black eyes. I did see it. Didn't get any photos or videos over at Kimber. Um you're gonna to try to chase down that in the state P220. Let's All right, so, sorry guys. Chris, oh, and I also, so Chris said, do you have a favorite brand of optic or C1 at shot that set out to you? When it comes to optics, I did an interview over at Primary Arms and to be honest, I can't even remember what we talked about, but I know on they did a lot of updates and they didn't have a lot of new stuff coming out. They just updated the things that they had. And then when it comes to, there was another company, I think they were newer. I wanna probably say Arkin, not sure, but there's a whole long story behind that one. So I'll tell you the story really quick. Don't laugh because it's not funny. It's probably gonna be funny to you, but it's not funny to me. 
So I went over to Ball Tech Safe, did a booth interview with them as well. And I had um, mics. So if you have heard anyone do an interview at SHOT Show or any of those types of conventions, you know that it is a very, very noisy, loud environment. And if you're going to try to interview someone, like you're either gonna have to have the handheld mic and you're gonna have to talk like this, or you're gonna have to have like a really nice professional mic, like a lapel mic that's a professional mic. So your girl stepped her game up and she got some really nice mics, right? So that I could interview. And if you have watched the Aero Precision video from SHOT Show, then you'll know like the audio on that was really good. And I mean, the floor was very busy. So I did a booth interview at vault and at the end of the interview, um, there, well, once the interview was over, the booth got really busy. Black Rambo came in, a whole bunch of people came in, and I took the mic from the individual that I was interviewing, and I clipped it on my pocket, and it fell off. And then I went to go interview this optic company, but by the time I got there, my mic was gone. It wasn't clipped onto my pants anymore. So I lost my mic. So from that point, it was like, let me go find this mic that I paid a whole lot of money for, and then I couldn't find it. So that was a bummer. And yeah, it kind of, I don't want to say it ruined it, but the audio quality from the videos that I did with the mic and trying to use a boom mic completely different so i definitely tried to do a video today with ruger with the boom mic and it was just too noisy like it wasn't even enjoyable so definitely trashed that video and i just had to use one of the professional mics and that's where i go to i was about to go interview this newer optics company and then that's when i found that I had lost my other mic and then it was mission go find this mic and I thought that it just kind of fell off my pocket on my way to from one boot to the next but then when I retraced my steps I couldn't find it so oh my god I really need someone to find that and that cost a lot of money but neither here nor there I didn't let it stop me I just kept doing what I was doing and trying to improvise a bit but yeah I was going to interview this company and I'll definitely try to get more information about them and push it out. But the other company that I interviewed was Hollow Sun and I love me some Hollow Sun. I don't know if you guys saw the things that they're putting out, but I definitely love me some Hollow Sun. And I have a, I did an interview with them at the range day, but I also have an interview coming out with them, a uh, booth interview. But Holosun has a lot of new things that are coming out. Mark said, turn it into a German boat. Chris said, salad equals boo. Chris, that's not nice. I love some salad, <laughs> but I also love ice cream. Um, KS, thanks for joining from Tampa. Hey, Drum, thank you so much for joining. New York says, Shot Show sounds like a great day to test out some gloves for a review. Then it's a two for one, stay safe, and just take a creating content going. I didn't mean to bring stuff. Um, so I met Guns and Gadgets. I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is. Um, Talon, I met him. We got a photo together. And I'm supposed to do a podcast interview with him. And there were a lot of other YouTubers that I didn't know of. But then when they put their videos up, I saw them because, you know, they were at the range day doing videos too. Chris said, that's the kind of mic drop that just plain sucks. Sorry to hear that happen to you. Yeah, definitely um, a mic drop, but 
Yeah. So it was funny, but it wasn't funny. But that was a good joke. Mic drop. <laughs> Um, Antoine said, good evening, Skip, and everyone just got home from work. I'm tuning in late. Thank you so much for tuning in, though. I was going to not go live tonight, but then I still decided to go live because I haven't been live with you guys in a while. And I know once I get back that um, I'm going to have to figure out wh when I'll be able to do the lives. But I definitely won't be able to do them within the week that I get back. Not like the normal schedule lives that I normally do. So there was a lost and found, and I did leave them my info. So I'm hoping that someone turns it in, and I had left them my info, and they said that they would call me and mail it out if it shows up. So prayers that it does show up, that was a lot of money. So I'm going to have to purchase another one if it doesn't show up. Um... New York, I have to check those out. The Boya Lab. Georgia Boy said, I'm still using iron sights, haven't really got into the red dots since the military. You should try them out. I think they're a, re a really good option to have. And for me, um, I was used to using the iron sights, but they are a nice option. And it's like the new, new. And the trend is, you know, to have a red dot or sorry, an optic on your, on your pistol now as well. Oh, so I will have to definitely check those out. Um, I hope <laughs> that the quality is. So have um, New York, have you tested those in a noisy environment, like something like SHOT Show? And then another thing is actually connecting the mic to the camera and you, you guys will know, I don't know if you really pay attention when people are doing videos, but like environments like SHOT Show and Array, you will have people that, I know there was one video that I did and someone just completely walked in front of the camera while we were recording. And if we have mics that are wired, sometimes that makes for a very bad experience because people do not care and they walk directly in front and that's how they break your equipment. <laughs> But these were wireless and they were like $250. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you about my SHOT Show 2020 experience. It was a really good experience and I have a ton of videos that I will be pushing out to you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I want to ask the questions that you have to the manufacturers because sometimes I have the manufacturer's ear and I can ask, you know, are you guys thinking about coming out with this? Or, you know, why did you put this here? And they want to hear that type of feedback. And sometimes they really don't get that feedback. So optics, gear, whatever it may be, I want you to let me know because I want to let them know because the only way that these products can get better is if you all let us know what you want with the products. And another thing that I was looking for at SHOT Show was a plate carrier, best type, and I found a couple of them that I want to try out. And if you guys have any recommendations for those, please let me know. I also connected with... Maxpedition, and they have some bags, and we sorry, guys. Let me look at that real quick.
Um, Georgia boy, if you want to send me a message, you can send me a message and we can talk optic options for you as well. MD, PSA said that they are releasing it within the year. If you guys have particular questions that you want me to ask, I would love for you to either email them to me at skiptacticalsolutions at gmail.com or you can send them to me on social media. All right, so once I get off the live with you guys, I'm going to upload this new video. I'm going to upload the video from Palmetto State Armory. So please share it, please comment, please let me know what you think because they definitely have a lot of new products that are coming out. And make sure that you share this video, comment, share it as well. And you can win something from like my loot of stuff from SHOT Show. I have a ton of stuff that I got for you guys. And the PSA video, you have to comment, you have to share, and you will win yourself a PSA SHOT Show patch. I will show you <clears throat> that patch really quick, and then we're going to wrap it up. So PSA SHOT Show 2020 on the PSA video. The PSA video will be coming out tonight. A little after this live is over. So I have the patch and then I have, so this is the patch and then I have the sticker as well. All right, so PSA SHOT Show 2020. So make sure that you read the instructions. All right guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. I miss you all so, so much. And if you're watching the replay, please interact as well, and I will answer your comments. But make sure that you have a happy and a safe weekend, and I will be coming back to you with another live video as soon as I can. But thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great night.